Okay, so the day after earnings is officially in the books for NVIDIA stock. And guys, we hit an all-time high this morning at almost $153 per share. Then we sold off throughout the rest of the day, closing at $146 per share, up around half of a percent. So guys, you know the drill. We're going to break down the charts, do an update, break down what I'm looking to do. But first, hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Come on, guys and get your free stocks from Moomoo. Check out the link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash Moomoo. Open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get five free stocks and a $30 cash reward and fund your account with at least 1000 bucks. You get 10 more stocks and overall your uninvested cash for now will earn up to 8.1%. APY, which guys, it's a no-brainer. So use that link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash moomoo and let's get right into the video. So like I said, NVIDIA hit an all-time high this morning at almost $153 per share after, get this, being in the very high 139s in the pre-market think about that we hit 139 dollars and 80 cents right here in the pre-market right around 4 20 a.m on the east coast and then we started popping um into open and that's where we got the big pop at open uh where we hit that all-time high which that didn't last long we then sold off all the way back down to about 140 at about what 10 30 a.m on the east coast and then we uptrended uh for the rest of the day closing at 146 dollars up around half of a percent on the day so when we hit 139.80 in the pre-market we then rallied percentage wise to all-time highs about 10 percent so if you guys bought in the pre-market today as a quick in and out kind of trade you could have made eight to nine ten percent at most uh from top to bottom uh with, or from bottom to top rather i'm not sure if anyone out there actually caught that trade but man that was a big move and then we got the big dump off to 140. So I guess if you missed that um, pre-market dip by, you got your chance at 10.30 a.m. on the East Coast. And then we rallied for the rest of the day, uh, like I said, going to the mid 140s. So that's kind of the price action from today after the company reported earnings yesterday, which, by the way, uh, they beat EPS and revenue. Let me see. Can I even scroll down far enough um, to get the earnings from yesterday? I can't, uh, but it looks like here we got a lot of price raises from different firms. Looks like Argus raised their price target to 175 from 150. Rosenblatt uh, maintains a buy with a 220 price target. Oh my God, they actually adjusted um, their target to 220 from 200. So I guess uh, that was the $200 price target uh, we were seeing on Yahoo Finance from Rosenblatt uh, Securities. They just raised it to 220, probably the highest price target on Wall Street right now, um, right around 220. So yeah, they beat EPS, beat revenue, and they guided up for Q4 revenue, guys. Very good sign. And overall, the stock um, is unchanged. And sometimes, guys, that's very good news. Unchanged, right? We don't want all the time uh, to get a massive move in either direction after earnings. Sometimes it's good uh, for a stock to just stay flat consolidate especially as we've seen so many gains you know it's actually a good sign uh, when a company a stock has been crushing it for quarters on quarters on quarters the stock's been going up so much um, and we're maintaining the gains now with the earnings we just got that's pretty good in my opinion you know the stock's settling a bit now um, digesting the earnings and I feel like we're going to get ready for a launch in December. I think we're going a lot higher. I think we will get a Santa Claus rally, a Christmas rally, whatever you want to call it. It's not guaranteed, but I feel like uh, we're, we're gearing up for that as the stock really has been flat for at least 10 days here on the 30 minute chart. You guys see that on the 20 day chart. You guys see, you could argue it's been flat for a couple weeks. So guys, I'm telling you, 
uh, we're gearing up for a pop, at least in my opinion. And let me draw this out. You guys can see if I draw this out right here, we do have a bit of a triangle, do we not, on the one-hour chart here on NVIDIA. I mean, look, we have higher lows being made, one at 132. We held about, what, 139. We held here at about 141, 142. So we're making these distinct higher lows into the resistance being about 149, 150, which we peaked out of it earlier today, this morning when we hit 153. Now, if we retest 150, if we're able to break out of there, this could be going um, a lot higher in my personal opinion, right? So I'm going to set my alert. Mark is at or above 150 here on NVIDIA. Um, and, and again, we'll see if this triangle plays out and we get the next big move, which I think ultimately it's inevitable. Uh, we're going to get the breakout. It's only a matter of time. And, and, and the million dollar question is, when will we get it? Tomorrow being Friday, I don't know if we'll get it tomorrow, uh, but next week there's a decent possibility uh, we get the breakout. So great earnings. Nice price action. I like it. You know, we had a green day. We hit an all-time high today. Uh, we broke over 150 for the first time ever on the stock. Um, so, yeah, pr pretty good day, man. Pretty good day. And as for me, what I'm doing, um, I didn't buy any more stock over the last day or two. Um, I didn't sell any either. I'm actually curious. Did you guys sell? Did anyone out there sell? Um, so I didn't buy. I didn't sell. I'm just holding on. Um, to what I have right now. And I actually did buy more last week. So I'm not in a rush uh, to buy more, keep buying and buying and buying. I've been buying for a couple of weeks and now I'm just sitting on my hands uh, on the shares that I currently have. And let me know in the comments kind of what you guys are doing. I'm curious and please feel free to join the email list. It's free. Link down below in the description box. Put your first name and your email address. And I'm sending you my top three stocks every single Monday, right to your email and check out the Patreon as well. If you want, if you want to see me build out my private real money portfolio, have access to the discord and me throughout the week. All of that is down below as well, guys on Patreon. And let me show you these indexes, man. The indexes today went ballistic. The Russell went up 1.65%, clearly uh, bouncing here off the 50 SMA, off of 2,300 points, which was resistance for a couple of months. So we broke out of there, pulled down, held it as support. Now we're starting to rip. So in my eyes, it looks like the Russell wants all-time highs. What do you guys think about that? Call me crazy, but we had a very good day. Uh, triple Q went up around, let's see, 0.4%. Nothing too crazy. Uh, looks like buyers are coming in above the 180 SMA on the four-hour chart here on QQQ. And on the 10-day, 30-minute, it looks like we're slowly starting to break out of this downwards channel, guys. Very good news on QQQ. And on SPY, pretty much the same thing. We're in this downwards channel on the 30-minute chart. If I want to draw it to give you guys a better visualization, we're in this channel, you guys see it, and now we're breaking out. We have a golden cross, we're above the moving averages, slowly getting out of this channel, which is very good news on the 30-minute. And here on the four-hour chart, um, it's pretty obvious, SPY, buyers are coming in right above the 180 SMA. Today we broke out of the 50 and we closed above it here on the four-hour chart. So SPY looks really good from a bullish perspective here, guys. Um, 600 looks like it's well in the crosshairs at this point. Uh, same with, let's see the level on QQQ. Looks like ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, 515 is in the crosshairs here on QQQ. And the Dow Jones, guys, went up over 1%. Dow looks phenomenal as well. We bounced off the 50 SMA here on the four-hour chart. We held over the highs from the middle of October as support. Got the bounce there. So, guys, we're looking good. Bulls are nowhere, um, or excuse me, the bears are nowhere to be found. Bulls are rocking and rolling and that's what, uh, you know, that's what we've been seeing. So, guys, let me know your thoughts 
in the comments, hit the like button, do not forget to subscribe, do all that good stuff, and get your free money from Moomoo Moo once you open up your account using that link down below and fund it with at least $100. You get five free stocks and a $30 cash reward and fund your account with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks and overall your uninvested cash for now will earn up to 8.1%. APY, which guys, it's a no brainer. So use that link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash mumu. And with that being said, cheers, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.